happening guys it is december 21st it's about 55 degrees out i think it's about to be the high of 66 today um as you can see it's overcast water super still and uh i'm gonna try to wear them out today i got lipless crankbaits i got chatter baits i got jerk baits um and i also have smaller uh, little swim baits and if that doesn't work through the power fishing I'm definitely going to be doing some finesse fishing, so y'all stay tuned, and um, I'm hoping to catch some monsters today, so uh, see you soon. Strike King, Lore, Red Eye Shad, 2-Tap. Now, for some odd reason, the GoPro didn't turn on like it was supposed to, and I had just caught this monster bass. So we need to check out, check them out. Look at that fatty. The lipless crankbait. He was hooked pretty good, I think. Yeah, he was double hooked. Let me get the pliers out. Let's weigh this fatty out. Let's see. Y'all can see that. Eight point twenty two pounds. I hate that I couldn't get the catch on camera. GoPro didn't turn off. Look at that belly. Lipless crankbait. Black and blue. Look 
that stud. Whew. Look at that fatty. What a beast. Got him. Oh, barely hooked. Came right up. Look at that fatty. It's gotta be over eight pounds. Fifty nine. Eight fifty nine. Look at that. Look at that belly. Woo. Don't drop the GoPro. Um, real quick, what I'm doing is there's a main lake point out here and the wind is blowing right to it and I'm throwing that big worm and I'm actually throwing it not at the point, I'm kind of throwing it, that's at the point, but I'm throwing it almost like parallel to that bank and I'm just dragging it and it's probably sitting in six foot of water and I'm dragging it. I can feel all the little rocks and it's bumping into stuff and then once I bump into something I'm dragging it as soon as I hit something I let it go which means like I, I give it kind of some slack I put my rod tip down and the reason why I do that is because when it hits something it I think activates the worm a little bit and has a lot more movement to it so then if I don't get bit you know I drag until I hit another, something else hit another little rock or a twig or something whatever's under the water and I let it sit and it's going like this wiggling back and forth and then I brought it, I brought it, I hit something, I set it still, or let it still. And all of a sudden I felt thump, thump, thump. And the way it was thumping it, I actually thought it was like a brim or a crappie just pecking at it. And then I was reeling and I couldn't feel anything. And I'm reeling, I couldn't feel anything. And then I set the hook once I felt the weight on them. And that's what it was right there. Eight pounds, eight pounds and how many ounces? 59 ounces. No, that ain't right. <laughs> eight pounds is probably about eight and a half. Eight and a half pounds. But uh, I'm fishing that worm. I was throwing that lipless crankbait earlier and caught that other eight pounder. And um, I'm still gonna get after it. I don't know how much weight I got because the, the first little um, slot right there says 30.99 and I don't know how that happened because it was an eight pounder and it said eight something on it before. But uh, I'm gonna keep after it and um, let's keep on getting them. Let's see how much weight we can get today. She is. Oh, she was hooked good. Isn't it cheap? I'm not going anywhere. Whew.
we're at 1735 total pounds plus that eight pounder that I caught earlier so we're doing pretty good right now nice and fat well there you have it probably caught over 24 pounds a day um two over eight pounds uh my main focus was the main lake points and i was fishing a worm real slow but um comment subscribe like do what you got to do continue to follow bass with buddy and um, see you next time.